Hello everyone, in this week's After Effects scripting tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make scripts that are supported in all languages. This is not referring to different programming languages, this is referring to whether you're using a different language of After Effects or your computer. Now there are lots of times when scripts have issues because people are using computers that have different effect names or property names inside of After Effects. And when you program these by hand in scripting, sometimes it can get in the way. So today I'm gonna to be running through just a few scripts and we're gonna be updating everything to make sure it's supported in every single language. You learn some tips and tricks and mostly how to use match names properly to make sure there's never any language barrier issues. So for the most part, the main thing to make sure everything works in any given language is to make sure that you use the match name. This is the name that Adobe uses internally to add effects, groups, and things like that, rather than the name you see displayed. So take for example this script here. We have some lines of code that deal with the scale of a layer. You can see it's taking layer.property scale. So this might not seem like a problem because, well, you're just changing the scale of a layer. But if you're in a different language, scale may not be the same a name in a different language. So this is just the name that appears visually in After Effects. It's not the name that goes down and actually changes things in After Effects. In order to do that, we need to use the match name. And in order to find the match name, there's a couple things we can do. Usually you can get away with just saying A, D, B, E, and then the property name. This Adobe scale is actually the match name. And in After Effects, if we want to find the match name, I'm just going to quickly whip up a quick, quick little script. I'll create a variable called layer, which is equal to our app.project.activeItem and the first layer in our composition. And we want to find out the match name for scale. Instead of just saying property.scale, we want to get the internal name. So to do this, I'm just going to say dot property scale, which is in English, and I'm going to grab the match name. The match name is going to give us the information we need. And in fact, this is uh, should just say match name. And I'm going to write the line match name in our JavaScript console here. Make sure you have window JavaScript console open in extend script. And when we run this, we're going to get Adobe scale. And as we predicted, that was the right thing to put in. So we can just put in Adobe scale for everything else. So looking at this next quick example, this time we're dealing with position and it's probably going to be the same thing. Let's go ahead and just assume it's Adobe position. And if we go back to our little testing script here, we can change the name here from the property called scale to the one called position. And sure enough, we're going to get Adobe position. And this of course works for not just uh, the main properties here. If we say added a mask onto our layer, we could go in and grab the property called masks and get the match name for that, which is Adobe Mask Parade. It's a little bit different for some properties. And if you need a list of all of them, you can actually refer to the Adobe scripting guide. And as you scroll through, you'll see lots of examples of match names like Adobe Text Position, Adobe Masks, and things like that. So really, it's all about just going through your code that you've already written or being proactive when writing new code and making sure you're using the match name because otherwise you'll have strange issues that you can't explain. I've had a lot of problems where I've tried to solve a scripting issue and it took weeks and it finally turned out to be it was a language error and the line of code that was causing a problem was trying to change the rotation of, of a French After Effects. Instead of using the standard way of spelling rotation, it used a different one, and things can change like that all the time as uh, versions of After Effects are updated. So using the match name is very important in making sure that your scripts have compatibility with all languages of computers and After Effects. That's gonna do it for this week's tutorial. I know this one was a bit shorter for a main video, but it's very important and vital to get that out there to make sure that no scripts have future compatibility problems because of this. If you have any questions about other compatibility problems or finding these match names in any of the properties, leave a comment down below or ask any questions or comments you may have. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and of course hit subscribe and the bell icon next to it to be notified of new uploads coming out every Monday and Thursday. But thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.